Hey Andy. Hello. Let's go for a walk. My motorbike. Everything's very cold at the moment here in Beijing. Righto, Nancy, Jaya. Yeah, I know, but I'm not doing that now. I'm just filming. Hey. No, you not take a picture. Ride your bike. Go, Nan. No, Nancy doesn't take a picture. Nancy rides a bike. <laughs> My lovely wife. He's talking about me. Huh. Really? Wow. So we're going to talk about uh, racism or funny ideas about racism as well, I guess. So this is what happened to me and Railing when we were in Darling, Australia. Don't look at a road, kind of Watch it up, I can see the car. Okay. Hey, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make another video about the pain in the ass of marrying a Chinese girl, but that'll be in another video. I can make a video about a Australian bastard marrying <laughs> a nice fairy style. Yeah, but no one would no one would watch such a long video. <laughs> <laughs> So, take your friend. <laughs> the um, but back to our video. Okay. So, this happened to us in Australia. Ni hao, shu shu. Right, back to our video. Okay. So, this happened to us in Australia. So, me and Ray Ling were. We went down to a park near the water, um, this is in West Australia, and we were sitting down and, you know, talking and uh, obviously, we you know, we're, she was my girlfriend at the time, so we were holding hands and there was an Australian family at the park there having a barbecue or something and there's a guy looks over at us and then he starts, in front of his kids and wife and that, starts saying quite loudly, you know, like, can't that guy get an Australian girl? It's got to get a foreigner. Got to get one from overseas. And he's carrying on quite silly. The good thing is, Railing wasn't really listening to any of this. By that time, I couldn't understand at all. <laughs> she didn't, yeah. So, wow. and I chose um, to ignore it for the time being because it wasn't that annoying. Mm. Well, oh, are no, you sure well. it's not? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this guy's with his family and he's made the comment that, you know, I can't get an Australian partner, so I've resorted to getting one from overseas. It's kind of true. <laughs> <laughs> so now the first pr conception there is this guy doesn't even know me. He knows nothing about me or whatever. And I've got someone from overseas. But the fact is I actually met Railing in Australia. So that's kind of dumb. Anyway, he's still obviously quite annoyed about me with a, a foreign partner or a foreign girlfriend. So his next very loud comment as he yells out is like, I bet you she doesn't even have a green card to be here. Rah, rah, rah. Now, that is the dumbest racist thing I've ever heard because in Australia, we don't have green cards. There's no such thing. That's an American thing. So this dick's obviously watched too many American TV programs and um, he thinks Australia has green cards too for foreigners. Okay, so there's the first comment of, um, you know, can't he get uh, an Australian girlfriend or can't he get someone, he's had to bring someone in from overseas, uh, which is a dumb comment um, because I met Reeling in Australia. Number two is she didn't have a green card which Australia doesn't have green cards anyway, so that's the second dumb comment. And then the third thing which I just thought was like, 
just interesting, I guess. Um, as we're sitting there and um, he's glancing around and then he sees that there's a, a BMW convertible, red BMW convertible parked in the, in the car park. So he looks at the car, then he looks at me, and then he straight away says to his uh, partner and, or his wife or whatever with him, he goes, and I bet you that guy drives that BMW convertible as well. And that's just another dumb comment because like, so what? You know, like for starters, he didn't know what car I drove. He's just assumed that if I've got uh, a, a Asian uh, girlfriend, therefore I must drive a BMW convertible. Um, or maybe he thinks that seeing I drive a BMW convertible, that's what's attracted the Asian girl to me, you know, because uh, the BMW convertible is some type of status symbol or whatever which she would be attracted to. Um, and these are just more dumb comments. For starters, like the BMW convertible I was driving, it was an old BMW convertible. It was, you know, it wasn't valuable. Um, I bought the car for five hundred dollars um, because it had a blown gearbox. The gearbox was shot. So, and then um, seeing I had my own workshop where we did mechanical um, repairs and engineering, um, we just bought it as a project just for fun. Um, I whacked another gearbox in it, and then I drove it around for a little while just to make sure the car was running good. And then I just sold the car again. So it was just a, a bit of a project that I had, but. It wasn't a valuable car, um, so, and uh, the preconceived idea that if you drive a car like that or or a, a more expensive cars, that suddenly you're going to pick up, you know, some uh, Asian partner or whatever. That's kind of a bit dumb as well, you know. It's, you know, my uh, my partner, my, which is now my wife. To her, it was just a red car. You know, she didn't think it was fancy. She didn't think it was special, she just thought it was, um, you know, a red car and when we did drive it, she always says, oh, can we put the roof back on because it's too hot in the sun with the, with the roof down, which is dead true. <laughs> is that right or not? <laughs> so that's, that's the next thing, you know, like a lot of people think, oh, convertibles are so I'm, cool. I'm You're... saying that I don't have any taste. Well, maybe. So, yeah, no, it, that's the other thing too. She didn't think the car was fancy. She didn't think it was, a, you know, anything special. And I didn't even own the car when, when I met her. That was a car I bought after I met her anyway. So, yeah. So, the BMW, the green card, the uh, male order bride, male order bride, yeah. Preconceived ideas people have in, in certain countries when they see... Uh, a Westerner with an Asian partner, so wow. um, yeah. and sometimes it's true, but but often it's not, you know. So it's you know people who people shouldn't judge. They should just you know why don't they just mind their own business and get on with their own life? I thought it was quite dumb. So that was just something which happened to me and Ray Ling while we were uh, dating in Australia, and that's the thing too. We met in Australia. We were dating in Australia, and then um, now I've. Uh, moved to Beijing to live with her in Beijing so you know every person's situation uh, every guy or girl with a with a partner from another country you know everyone's situation is different you know so you can't say that all of them are like he's a foreigner so he's got a male order bride and she's gone to him because she's desperate to get out of her country and get a passport from his country that's so not true nowadays it's, you know, it's, sometimes it happens, but there's plenty of situations where it's not like that at all. No. Yahoo, buckaroo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey Andy, Andy, hey, hey yo.
Nancy! No, no, you ride your bike. Daddy, take a picture of you. Nancy, take a picture yet. Nancy, take a picture. Hold on. Okay, I'll try to do another thing. Nancy, take two. Nancy, take two. All on film. Now Nancy I ride a bike. Think. Nancy ride a bike. I couldn't do anything before. Nancy, no. 